how to make sense of this <laughs> was my first question. How to even begin? What would the role of this, this design, the design be there and what kind of collaboration we could do? What would make sense? Sometimes it's difficult to kind of jump outside the box and really look at your research from different angle. You would work a long time on the same subject and then get a relatively narrow point of view. Designers, I think, also very often ask these uh, not only what it means, but why. Maybe it forces you to think about your research in a slightly different way. We really try to build bridges between different disciplines and really like interdisciplinary knowledge building was, was the, the approach in our research. One of the strongest materials in nature that we know is spider silk. Spiders have been evolved for hundreds of millions of years, so they have a pretty high mechanism of how they pull these fibers. What fascinates me is that uh, I want to find out like, how we can do the same thing as they do. When one starts pulling up the fiber, and one by one the protein opens up like zig zig uh, forming an elongated chain. Uh, the primary unit in the spider silk-like proteins are amino acids in certain sequence. For each uh, position in the chain, you have 20 different amino acids to choose from. That means that if, for example, if we have silk proteins, there is about maybe a, a hundred amino acids. So that is 20 to the exponent of a hundred, which is a very big number. And this is actually the basis of how biological systems work. And there's so much variation of what it really could be, but it actually could be a, a, a protein that's part of your brain or it's part of something completely different than a, than a silk protein. When one does a simulation of these proteins, actually one ends up having huge amount of coordinates. A three-dimensional map of all the atoms and their locations on this molecule, which I found extraordinary somehow that this uh, very dull looking list of numbers is actually containing so much information about a thing that actually is so tiny that we can't see it. When we understand the process of how to design the, the proteins, how to produce them, what their interactions are, how they come together, then there's uh, like an unlimited possibilities of, of variations and combinations and so on. It will really build up a, a platform for, uh, for making materials in a, in a new way.